back here at NSUSpartans.com, our weekly coaches uh, show here with volleyball coach uh, Brandon Duvall. And Brandon, last tournament out of the way, it was a home tournament here. You really got a, a, a good sense of where your team was because you played Hampton, who you played two more times, obviously, in conference. Plus, yeah. South Carolina State was one of the, uh, along with Fairview, one of the best teams in the South. Um, Hampton was a tough one, you know, 2-3, I almost came back. South Carolina State kind of the same way. You won the first set and then lost the last three, but I mean, you really got to learn a lot about your team against competition that you're going to see later. So, I mean, we're, after that tournament and everything, where do you feel the team kind of stands now? I mean, we're, we're not perfect by any means, yeah. so we've got, we still have a lot of work to do. And um, The good news is I think we've gotten past a lot of minor issues as a team that we need to get past, you know. It's frustrating to be, you know, for the new girls who are here. It's frustrating because there is a certain level of standards we have to be set to be able to compete at the Division One level level alone. You know, when it comes to serving and passing efficiency and kill percentage and things like that, you know, we're always trying to keep pushing the standards and keep rising the level. And it's difficult for some because you know they're doing well, but we're saying we need more. Like you're doing well, but we need more and we need more and we need more. And that's that's difficult for somebody who, especially who's new to the level, but. Um, I think after this weekend, uh, I made a comment and said that, you know, the, the giant has awoken inside of us. Because, uh, you know, yeah, even though we dropped the matches, um, and we started horribly against Hampton, but something happened right in the middle where the girls stopped to either feeling sorry for themselves, or things started clicking, or they started executing at a higher, whatever, the, whatever it was, you just saw the immediate change within that set, and then it kind of set the tempo for the rest of the match. And I think that's going to set the tempo for the rest of our season. I think um, I think the girls understand what we what we need out of them. You know, we've even given them an off day, and yet they all want to come into the gym and still work out. To me, that says a lot about where our program's going. That they just they're they're hungry for more, and um, and I think that's going to help us out tremendously. And you say talking about that start against Hampton, you guys are down 19 to five in the first set. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure everyone who was in here was thinking, oh boy, this is not going to be good. And just like, well, hopefully they can. I mean, I, even I at that point was like, well, hopefully they can at least do something in the second and third set. And all of a sudden, it's like the light bulb just turned on, and all of a sudden, it was just like. My timeout was, okay, girls, can't can't worry about this set. We're going to have to let this one go. But our job now is to be more efficient at what we're doing and try to build momentum going into the second set. Well, I didn't know they'd, they'd do that right away <laughs> and then come back and then obviously make that a really exciting first set. So. To win, I mean, to win it, to go on a 20 to 4 run. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if you, you've been around volleyball a while. I don't know if you've ever seen a team come down by that much. No, I don't know if I, I I've coached a while. I don't think I've ever been a part of something like that. But, you know, I, I always said, like, if you're efficient and if you're getting the job done, then anything can happen. You know, we talk about our basketball team all the time and the tremendous job they did last season in the NCAA tournament. It's like, if you can get the ball in the hoop, if you can defend, you're in good shape. And I said, if we can uh, if we can make sure we pass efficiently and we start getting our kills, and my concern was just to get momentum. Yeah. Like, let's just get momentum on their side because sometimes you can't help the fact that they're going to score points here and there, but you got to go on a 20 to 4 run. Uh, that was a little over the top of what I expected, but it was great. And then that just set it up for a more exciting match. After that. And obviously that's kind of something, too, like you said, to build on, because now you start conference season. Uh, you're, you're at Coffin and Morgan this weekend. Um, from here on out, except for a couple matches, um, it's pretty much all conference play. Right. So it's one of those things that's like, well, you didn't win it, but you're like, we can come back against that, then we none, can do anything. Yeah, none of these yeah. other MEAC schools should scare us. Yeah, and then Coppin is started their season off pretty well. Uh, I see that they're uh, been, they're pretty good in the conference right now. Uh, Morgan's kind of in our boat right now. They've played some tough competition, um, but you know they're always a dangerous team, and she does a phenomenal job with their team. So there's no cakewalk in our conference, but I, I have the utmost confidence with the, with the competition that we played at the beginning of the season and looking at the development of our girls and see how they're grasping the concepts and the strategies and everything that we need them to do. Um, you know, I, I'm very confident right now going into this. Regardless of what our record is, I have the most confidence right now going into our first conference match of the season. And then also, too, you get one of your players back as yep. well. Um, Nicole's been a, a three player missed all of last year. She misses the first month of this season, so I'm sure she's ready to yep. really get out there. But I mean, what does she bring to the table that's really going to help you? She's out? our floor general. She always has been. Even, even in her injury, she's been on the sideline mentoring our young setter. Um, mentoring a lot of the other players, adding some calmness to the program because it is stressful and you know you go through a lot. And Nicole's on the sideline. I've been there, done that. Like yeah. this, this isn't you know you guys need to relax for a second, think about what's going on. You know, make sure we're executing. She's pretty much been a coach up to this point, and now that she's cleared, um, we're expecting big things out of her. She's you know she's going to be our core general again. She's going to be the 
team leader. She's just somebody that helps continue to push the program to the next level. Yeah, and obviously, like you said, it, it helps to, um, now you can run a 6-2. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you a lot more, a lot of more options now. More hitters, to... blocking, defense, like there's just more we can do. Um, you know, if the t you know, depending on what the matchup with the team and everything, we there's a lot of things we can do mixing up the uh, Milano. Especially with someone who's as experienced and knows the game as, as well as she does. She's been our second leading kills getter, uh, highest second highest percentage in kills for her first two years of college. Mm -hmm. You know, number two, and she's a setter. So, yeah. you know, she adds that extra element to our uh, to our offense that allows us to open up our hitters a little bit. Now, obviously, um, up to two to be more at full strength. Obviously, hitting. Her. So, like I said, the Spartans will be in conference play uh, beginning this weekend. They're at Coppin and at Morgan. And then next weekend, next, not next weekend, next week, on Tuesday, they play William & Mary here at Joseph Eccles Hall. One of, the, one of actually two conference non-conference matches they still have left. They also play VCU a week after that. So, obviously, you can't see them this weekend unless you're up in Baltimore. But, come on out next week. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> next week on Tuesday at 6 p.m. out here, uh, they'll be facing William & Mary. For all your information this year, obviously, on NSU Barbell, keep checking back at NSUSpartans.com.